I'm not good at video games. I'm not good at video games. I'm not good at video games. So let's try this again. Woo! Doctor's notes. Fourteenth. Let the record show that I did try. When Adermeyer closed, I tried my best to take on all their blood fly cases. Void helped me. I even took out an advertisement in the Kar Karnaka Gazette. And come they did, sometimes with cases so advanced, the larva already burst through their skin. <laughs> I had to turn them away, lest they contaminate all the other patients and myself. The whole dreadful business has become a danger to me. If I don't protect my own health, how can I cure others? My things are packed, I have purchased passage to Winnedown? What a relief it will be to treat scurvy and chiblains after all these hideous blood fly infections. What is a chiblain? Chiblains? Chiblains? Anyways. Esteemed High Overseer Kulan, I hope you're in good health and not too nostalgic for Wagon, which I'm told is striking this time of year. You know, so I hope you don't... F you don't miss this place. By the way, I hear it's awesome. Uh, forgive my stream of letters, but our problems in Circanos are significant. Any insights you can offer would be welcome. Duke Bell is a travesty, openly disdainful for the uh, Abbey, and yet I must maintain relations with him for the welfare of this nation. So, okay. You've been called a unifier, something the Abbey greatly needed after the horrors of the Rat Plague, so your guidance would be of value. Under the Duke, the streets here are overrun with cutthroats. Paolo and his gang grow bolder every day. Pa hey, this is the lady's, like, the right hand or something. Lastly, my recent correspondence with our oracular sisters has been troubling. Their responses have arrived after marked delay, and their recent proclamations possess an unusual cadence. They're speaking in verse. Yours in faith, Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. Day 18, Sister Allison, recorder of proceedings. Also present, Sister Anne, Sister Margaret. There's always a Sister Margaret. And Sister Tabitha. That's a good name. The following is the true and complete transcript of the utterings of Sister Anne, Oracle. More incense, please. Yes, the past and the future meld. I am without body, dust all about me. So thick my vision falters. It is greed in palpable form, hiding a thousand evils. Oh, look, my sisters, heresy, ten, no, twenty wretches, servants of the void, vile worshippers of the outsider. I'm one of those. Uh, they are assembled there this very moment in a hidden alley, the ground slick with fishmongers detritus in the heart of the dust district. I am moving on now, still wrapped in dust, nearly blinded, yet I sense something. Other blasphemies hide nearby, a strange taste in my mouth. What is this? And here there is a pause so long that Sister Tabitha finally broke the silence. My sister, has your vision ceased? Or if not, what do you observe? And Sister Anne answered thusly. I have a message for the vice overseer. Tell Baron to end the, this needless meddling into the conservatory. And now Sister Anne will be needing some rest. And thus ended the session. Truly and complete in detail, Sister Alice. On Seven strictures. Excerpt from a commonly distributed overview of the seven strictures. Surround your innermost being with these strictures and you will be safe. Seven strictures are our core principles, taught and reinforced by overseer across the aisles. Uh, from these principles stem all manner of rules, social codes, and beliefs about the cosmos. One, the wandering gaze. Two, the lying tongue. Three, restless hands. Four, roving feet. Five rampant hunger, a six wanton flesh, seven errant mind. These are these are great. Uh, all these behaviors must be restricted. That's awful. In order to keep one's heart free from malevolent influences, they are the inroads of the outsider. Well, I guess I, I would say it's not the outside. I I don't feel like I follow all those, but I think they could be a good time sometimes. I, 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 this is going. One. From a longer work. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses, and ancient music permeating everything is fundamental structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I have found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon, and with the right equipment, these notes allow for astonishing effects, 
Not the least of these is the ability to calm the turbulence originating in the void, which we attribute to the outsider. Oh, it's like those music boxes from before. Those are gonna come back, aren't they? To all those faithful to the Abbey of the Everman, touch not the unclean thing, nor the work. Uh, watch for the runes and shrines in the abandoned places across our city. Report any who are in violation, lest they destroy the spirits of those in your community. Stay to the strictures. All right, last one, now we're gonna call it. On the Oracular Order by Douglas Harwickle Historian. Much has been said about the blind sisters of the Oracular Order. In truth, their eyes function just as well as yours or mine. However, they do endeavor to become blind to distractions and frivolities. They will, if necessity bids them, walk among us wearing richly hued blindfolds or otherwise covering their eyes. In this way, they remain at all times ready to see things clearly. Decisions are made during cloistered gatherings, though no others are permitted to observe. The process was described to me, so I render it here with permission. A room is prepared with heavy incense and our blessings from the scriptures. In a circle sit thirty or more sisters of our order, until the room is brimming. We will hear no topic, lest we have each had adequate time to research. Several outcomes will be discussed, and some sisters are specifically tasked with advancing less popular or unlikely scenarios. It is not permitted to remain silent. Every voice must be heard. It may take some time to arrive at a decision, and by then all are quite versed in the myriad consequences, and may have lengthy advice for all contingencies. When an opinion is written, it may be as short as a sentence, or fill twenty pages. Yet still, one last sister must approve it. The High Oracle herself. I like this sort of, you got the ladies, you got the boys. I, 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 I mean... I'm not, I don't I don't like that segregation, but looking at history, that's how these things usually work out. But it's cool that they have such a well thought out idea system um, in terms of governance within the religion, and it's completely separate with the same beliefs. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Poofy, poofy, poofy.